there! After this lesson, you should be able to convert terminating and repeating decimals into fractions. Sarah must run a mile as part of her requirement for gym class. Her teacher tells her she completed 875 thousandths of a mile before she had to start walking. What fraction of a mile did Sarah run? We can begin by taking a look at some terminating decimals. Recall, each digit of a decimal falls in a specific place value. Each place value is different. In the number to the left, there is the tenths place and the hundredths place value. We can write this number as 31 hundredths. Let's take a look at the next number. This particular number reaches the ten thousandths place value. We can write this number as 85 ten thousandths. We can write this fraction in simplest form by reducing it to 17 two thousandths. Write the following decimals as fractions in simplest form. The first number can be written as six tenths since it ends in the tenths place. This reduces to three fifths. The second one is 35 hundredths and can be reduced to 7 twentieths. Lastly, we can write four thousandths as a fraction as well. To simplify, we write it as one two hundred and fiftieth. Good! Since repeating decimals are rational numbers, we can also write them as fractions. Let's take a look at the following decimal. We want to create and manipulate an equation that will allow us to get rid of the repeating part of the decimal. First, we assign a variable n to the entire number. Now, since the repeating digits extend to the hundredths place value, we will multiply both sides of the equation by 100. This leaves us with 100n equal to 385.85 repeating. Now, let's subtract 1n from both sides of the equation. 100n minus n is equal to 99n. Take a look at the right side of the equation now. Remember when we made 3.85 repeating equal to n? Well, since n is also equal to 3.85 repeating, we can subtract that number from the right hand side. 385.85 repeating minus 3.85 repeating is equal to 382. Lastly, we can divide both sides by 99. We are left with n is equal to 382 99ths. Written as a mixed number, we get 3 and 85 99ths. We've just found the fractional form of our decimal. Write the following decimal as a fraction in simplest form. First, we will let the variable n equal 0.412 repeating. Since 412 extends to the thousandths place value, we will multiply each side by 1000, so that one whole set of repeating digits makes its way to the left hand side of the decimal point. Now, let's go ahead and subtract n from both sides. 1000n minus 1n is equal to 999n. Since n is also equal to 0.412 repeating, we will subtract 0.412 repeating from the right hand side to get 412. Lastly, we divide both sides by 999 to get 412 999ths. Great! Thank you.